Hey everyone, a very, very warm welcome back to my channel, to my space on YouTube. If we haven't met before, how sad, but welcome to my space. My name is Ashana, I'm 22 years old from London, and I post weekly videos about my travels, currently documenting my time living in Mexico. In one of my most recent videos, I spoke to you guys about why Mexico City needs to be right at the top of your travel vacation destination list. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five recommendations for things to do in Mexico City. There might actually be more than five, but... Before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more of me. I really hope you enjoy, and let's get straight into the crazy recommendations that I have for you. Chochimilco. It is the Mexican Venice but way more fun. I mean, there is nothing like this place on earth. I've never experienced something as fun, something as crazy, something as dynamic as this experience. Picture this. Photogenic, brightly colored, eclectic gondolas cruising up and down the canals, full mariachi bands playing everything from Mexican classics to modern chart music, great weather and snacks served to you on board. What more could you want? <laughs> Even though there are tourists that come here, it does feel super, super, super authentic with lots of people coming to celebrate birthdays or just to have a good time with their friends on the water. All the gondolas are handmade and come personalized with different names, styles and colors. You hire the boats by the hour with the average price being around 500 pesos per hour, which is around $25. And generally people tend to go for two hours at a minimum or the whole day if you're up for it. My favourite part of visiting Chochimilco was just being with good company, being on the water, the weather being amazing, and just enjoying some music and some drinks. It's kind of like a floating festival with every boat dancing and singing and having a great time with their friends. Uh, my top tip would be to bring food, drink and a speaker with you beforehand, but don't worry if you forget stuff though because along the canal you, you will find boats full of all kinds of things. Beer, pulque, water, fruit juices, barbecue corn, tacos, mango, and freshly cooked steaks all served right there on the water. My second recommendation will not come as a surprise if you watch my videos. Mama Rumba is a nightclub in La Roma Norte which is focused on one thing, Cuban salsa. The best thing about this place is that it doesn't matter if you're a pro salsa dancer or you're just getting started and you have two left feet, everyone is welcome here. Actually, it's probably the best place to learn. There is a live band which plays for an hour straight and then breaks for 30 minutes, which gives you the perfect opportunity to get your breath back and maybe try a frozen margarita, which are absolutely delicious. On Thursdays, Fridays and Saturday, it is the most busy. Both floors get completely, completely packed, but it's a great, great vibe. If you're looking for salsa lessons, I recommend Parque Mexico in La Roma, where groups hold classes there every day of the week. Or you can turn up to Mamarumba before it opens for free dancing lessons. It's a win-win. If you like dancing, or if you want to learn how to dance, or if you like being around people dancing, or if you like being around places with good energy and a great atmosphere, then you will love Mama Rumba. The club closes around like 4 or 5 a.m. every day. And what's the best thing to do when it closes? Go and indulge in some street tacos. And these tacos will not disappoint. They are absolutely out of this world. Chapultepec is the biggest park in Mexico City and this is probably one of my favourite weekend activities. Taking a kayak, paddleboat or rowboat out for a spin with the ducks on Chapultepec Lake and then sitting in the park for a picnic afterwards. The cost to rent a paddleboat for an hour was 100 pesos, so around £4, which is way cheaper than Hyde Park in London. The park also has a huge outdoor market with everything from souvenirs to tacos and crisps which provide the perfect snack for you to take on board, of course. This is the best way to enjoy the sunshine, maybe even tan a little bit as you relax in the boat, and spend time with your friends, family and loved ones in the heart of this magical city. You will see families, you will see grandparents, you will see children, you will see couples, young people, friends, and even some wildlife whilst you take your boat on the lake. And I would actually say it's pretty good exercise because my calves after an hour were really, really hurting, so definitely check out boating on Jabu the Big Lake. Obviously, this will not be a Mexico City recommendation video if we didn't talk about food. Mexico City is one of the best street food cities in the world. From delicious tacos to mole to enchiladas, you'll never go hungry in Mexico City. 
In my other Mexico City videos, I have plugged some top recommendations as well as my daily eats and recipes that I'm cooking here. But let's start with a new favorite of mine, elote. Elote is grilled corn smothered in a creamy mayo and topped with chili, cheese and lime. You can find these on nearly every street corner, but I picked this up near my flat in La Roma Norte. If you're down to cook at home too, go and get your barbecue game on like me. We made some delicious homemade tacos with cecina, enchilada, grilled nopales, which are cactus, and longaniza, which is similar to chorizo. A fiery habanero mango salsa, but like fire, like you've never tasted before. Grilled Mexican spring onions with Worcestershire with Worcestershire? With Worcestershire sauce, which they literally call English type sauce here. Salsa tipo inglesa. And some guacamole. The secret touch, adding a touch of milk and some sugar. If street food isn't your jam, then don't worry, Mexico City still has you covered. I have a huge, huge, huge sweet tooth. And the bakeries here do not disappoint. One of my favorite, favorite things is a concha. Una concha, which is basically like a Mexican sweet bread. It gets super, super good. It is a Mexican sweet bread and they come in different flavors. Oreo, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, coffee, cajeta, caramel, whatever you fancy. This bakery in Coyoacan had some of the best vanilla conchas ever. It was so funny because I also ordered a cappuccino and in Mexico, instead of topping it with chocolate as, as they do in Europe, they top it with cinnamon and I literally felt like I was doing the cinnamon challenge. It was so intense. <laughs> cinnamon challenge. Cinnamon challenge. If you're a coffee lover to compliment your concha or your sweet treat, go to Cafe El Jarocho in Coyoacan, which is a super, 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 super famous cafeteria, and the coffee hits the spot like nothing ever before. One of the largest urban centers in the ancient world, Teotihuacan is a mystery still unsolved today. Basically, no one knows who built it. It's the most symmetrical city in the world. In March 21st, yeah. came here 84,000 people, and can it at 22. Nevertheless, if you're coming to Mexico City soon, do not miss out on this magical day trip. It is only 50 kilometers northeast of Mexico City. Teotihuacan is the most visited site in Mexico. The current name, Teotihuacan, was given to it by the Aztecs and literally translates to the place where the gods were created. As you enter, you will walk along the Avenue of the Dead, which runs for around five kilometers. This is basically the city's main street and way up in the distance, you'll see the Pyramid of the Moon and to its right, the Pyramid of the Sun, which is the third tallest pyramid in the world. You can of course climb the pyramids and the views of the surrounding mountains and valleys are absolutely breathtaking. There's a certain energy and charm that comes with being in this type of environment. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and that my recommendations seem interesting and exciting. If you are coming to Mexico City soon, please drop me a message. I would love to get to know your itinerary. If you've gotten this far, you might as well like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week for a new video. Bye!